one owner from new. This is a hobby Toscana exclusive 690 on a 61 plate, so that's 2011. It's a four berth with four travelling seat belts. The earlier hobbies had the nice curved sidewall there. Just give you that little bit more space inside the motorhome. This one's got an electric step. Outside access locker under the bed. Large garage space there, you can put your push bikes in. And the full awning, already pre-mounted. One piece door. 1.6, uh, sorry, 160 bhp. So about 17,000 miles. Let's have a quick look inside. So we've got the uh, cab seats, which both swivel around into the living area. We've got air conditioning, cruise control, sat nav, CD system, very low mileage, six speed box, integrated cab blinds for the sides and the uh, and the windscreen as well. In the back here you've got your two complete shoulder harness travelling seats and that'll make into a nice L shape lounge with a bench seat at the side there. The kitchen has the hobby styled recessed sink and three burner gas with plenty of kitchen storage space in there as well. Well, that's certainly a of storage. And then in the lounge, overlock of storage in the cab. In the lounge again. Control panel next to the door. And a hobby design lighting system uh, featured in this one as well. Cocktail cabinet, illuminated. And then we're looking towards the rear of the van, where we've got a grill oven, separate freezer, and a large capacity fridge. I've opened the doors on the uh, storage compartment at the back there, so you can see you've got storage and access into part of the garage. Other little storages. There, maybe ideal for a safe or something out of the way. Your circular shower your room has a Thetford toilet, hand basin, loads of vanity storage, mirrors, rails, and racks. Big push open sunroof as well. And then the curved shower door which curves around the shower tray that's quite a nice bathroom really now one of the other features of this hobby is the fitment of a front extra drop down lounge bed So you've got a nice double bed at the back and then a drop down double bed just over the lounge area. Can you see that there? That's it, perfect. And it's got the bunk ladder, it's got the clips for the bunk guards as well. So you put the little ones up there and they're all nice and safe. Or even two adults. Then once you're finished, you can leave your bedding on and pop it straight back up out of the way.